not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father, who is in heaven. I will bless the Lord at all times. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. This is the day which the Lord has made. Call it for purity together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thought of our hearts by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Gloria in excesses together. Glory be to God in the highest. And peace to his people now. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you. We give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said. Hear O Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. And with all your soul. And with all your mind. And with all your strength. This is the first commandment, and the second is like, namely this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. On these two commandments, hang all the law and the prophets. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Therefore, let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all people, meekly kneeling upon our knees. Together, prayer of conversion. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbors in thoughts and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we have not sufficiently worked according to the mind of Christ. We have the name of Christ, but have not departed from iniquity. We are truly sorry and repent of our sins for the sake of the Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in the name of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The collect the epistle and the gospel for eighth Sunday after Trinity. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, your word is a lamp to our feet and a light upon our path. Grant that by patient study of the scriptures, we may follow cl more closely the way that you have set before us. Through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, you see that we have no power of ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls. That we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
Please sit back. The epistle is written at the sixth chapter of the epistle of Paul to the Ephesians. We will start the reading from verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wise of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having guided your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparations of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the very darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayers and supplications in the Spirit. Being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplications for all saints. And for me, that all trance may be given to me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. This is the word of the Lord. Holy Gospel is written in the 17th chapter, the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, as recorded by St. John, beginning at the 11th verse. And now I am no more in the world, for these are in the world, and I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thy own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou givest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. 
they are not of the world, even as I'm not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. This is the gospel of Christ. We sincerely want to welcome you all into the month of August and we pray that you are the name of the Lord in our life and this month shall be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to sincerely appreciate my Lord Bishop, the Lord Bishop of this great diocese, and Mama Ijebu Southwest, for this great opportunity given unto me to communicate the mind of God to the people of God. It's my prayer that the Lord will continue to strengthen you and your episcopacy shall continue to wash stronger in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Lord God, creator of all things, we thank you for this new month you have given us. For your saving grace and your mercy as we listen to your word. May you open our mind and heart to receive your eternal wisdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I took my test from Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 11. The letter of Paul to Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 11. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the old armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wise of the devils. The theme for this sermon is fighting with the right armor. Fighting with the right armor. A typical armed soldiers wore armor made of bronze to cover the fighter organs, such as the head, the heart, the face, and the skull during war. The word armor is used many times in the scripture, and the Greek word for armor is Panoplia, 
which indicates basic outfits of a Roman soldier serve as a protective body covering during any war. The letter to the Ephesus was written by Apostle Paul during his first Roman imprisonment around AD 61 to 63. And his purpose of writing this letter is to strengthen the believer in Ephesus of their Christian faith by explaining the nature, purpose of the church and the body of Christ. The epistle read to us, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 following, Apostle Paul's explanation was that there is always a spiritual struggle between good and evil that is within the life of those who are seeking to do that which is right. For men are born into the world, war of good and evil, and the world is full of evil. For men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. John chapter 3, verse 19. It is not a fallacy that security in the world today has failed, especially in our nation, Nigeria. And evil is rising by the day. I pray may the Lord God intervene in our case in the name of Jesus Christ. We are living in a time when evil, where, when evil is being glorified as good. And good is defamed. Isaiah chapter 5 verses 20 says, Woe to those who call evil good, and good evil, who put darkness for light, and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. We are in a daily battle, not only with our own sinful desires, but with a culture which is actively opposed to the, to the God we serve. Christians are now advised to come under the armor of God, to be able to stand against the shames of the devil as we fight the battles that is beyond our physical appearance. The intensity of the forces that rise against us invite the needs for the full armor of God as listed by Apostle Paul in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 14 following. Number one, armor is birth of truth. John chapter 8, verses 32 says, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Truth should surround us like a bed. And number two, the breastplate of righteousness. To be righteous is to repent and be forgiven of our sins and to do what is right in God's eyes. Psalm 119, verse 172. Number three, gospel of peace. Our Delta memory verse has explained this. Mark chapter 16, verse 15, which says, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. We are to be, we are to eagerly, we are to eager to preach the good news to the unsaved ones. Number four, shield of faith. Our faith in Christ is the victory that overcomes the world. With the power of faith, we will be able to take on any challenge. Number five, helmet of salvation, which means you have to surrender yourself under the power of Almighty God and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Number six, sword of the Spirit. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 explains, For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing evil, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit. And in Jesus Christ, defeated Satan through the word of God. Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to 10. Therefore, if our 
believe are not rooted in the word of God, we cannot expect to fight battle for God and be victorious. Finally, praying always. Prayer is the most powerful instrument in waging war against the devil. We should maintain a lifestyle of prayer. It is through prayer that only the inward man is strengthened. People of God, the whole armor of God, therefore, is Jesus. And Jesus Christ is the only potent protection against all evil powers in the world. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 says, Jesus affirmed he has, he has all the authority on earth and in heaven, handing over your life to him, automatically put you under his armor. In him, you have eternal security. And the knowledge of his word as you study it, increase your immunity and protection against all evil. Therefore, as I conclude this summer, I put these five ways to overcome the challenges and evil of the world. One, live a clean life. Number two, give no place to the devil. Number three, speak the word. Number four, pray with authority. And number five, surrender your totality to God's authority. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we submit ourselves to your authority. All that we have and have been, may you build around us your eternal security through Jesus Christ our Lord. to the word of God, let us reaffirm our faith in the works of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light. True God from true God, begotten us made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit, he became the incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son is worship and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one. Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the restoration of the dead and the life. Amen. The Lord be with you. Please kneel as we continue. People of God, let us appreciate God for the privilege He has given unto us to witness another month 
to witness the first Sunday in the month of August. It is not by our making, it is not by our power, but by the mercy of the Lord. I want you to look back in your family, in your business, in your marriage, in your career, and appreciate God for that which he has done for you. We started this year, 2022, with many, but today they are no longer alive. It's not because we are righteous than them. It's not because we are perfect than them, but because we have received his mercy. Lord, in your mercy, please, can we commit our week, our month to the hands of the Lord? As we have started another month, let's please talk to the Lord and hand over this month to the hands of the Lord. I want you to talk to the Lord. Lord, fight my battle. The word of God we have read today, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, say, finally, we should be strong in the Lord. Pray that the Lord will fight your battle. He will strengthen you. Where you are weak, it will be your power. Every agenda of the enemy over your life and your family, the Lord will truncate them. Every power that wants to contend with you in the month of August, the Lord will neutralize them. Every plan of the enemy over your family, your children, your business, concerning your head, concerning your finance, that the Lord will not allow it. Please talk to the Lord. Ask for protection of the Lord. We are in the war that is no longer safe. Pray that the Lord will preserve you, will preserve your going out and coming in. Everything you have brought into the month of August shall be preserved. The psalmist says, The Lord is my shepherd, that the Lord will preserve you. Lord, in your mercy. Finally, I want you to commit all your plan for the month of August to the hands of the Lord. None will fail. I don't know your plan concerning your marriage, concerning your children, concerning your business. I want you to hand over all to the Lord. He's able to establish it. He's able to ordain it. Pray that this month you will not fail. This month the Lord will perfect that which he has started in your life. In the name of Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, let us pray for the church and for the world. And let us thank God for his goodness. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promised through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when we pray in faith. Strengthen Henry, our primate. Bami Shebi, our bishop. Baba today, our bishop, and all your church in the service of Christ, that those who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, bless and guide our ruler, especially our president, Muhammad, our governor, Dako. Give wisdom to all in authority and direct this and every nation in the ways of justice and of peace, that people may honor one another and seek the common good. Lord, in your mercy, give grace to us, our family and friends, and to all our neighbors, that we may serve Christ in one another and love as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy, Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or in spirit. Give them courage and hope in their trouble. And bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear us as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ. According to your promises, grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Rejoice in the fellowship of all your saints. We commend ourselves and all Christian people to your unfailing love. Merciful Father. Please rise.
Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Please let us wait for one another as a sign of peace. The peace of the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which the, which the earth has given and human has have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer fruit of divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. We bless our offering together. Yours, Lord, is thy greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, it is our duty and joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord, for He is your living world. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born as man and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on earth. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. And so we appreciate you for the opportunity in which you have given to us to witness another first Sunday in the month of August. And so we declare that as we are going through this month, your presence will journey with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna. Yeah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Listening as we continue our prayers. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, this gift of bread and wine 
may be to us his body and blood, who in the same night that, night that he was betrayed, took bread, gave you thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. Amen. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, gave you thanks, gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as, of, as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his suffering of himself made once for all upon the cross and proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. As we look for his coming in glory, we celebrate with this bread and this cup his one perfect sacrifice. I said through him, our great high priest, these are sacrifices of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink this holy gift in the presence of your divine majesty, Lord, you will renew us by your spirit. You will inspire us with your love. And you will unite us in the body of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, through him and with him and in him. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we all will stand before you in earth and heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? The cup which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Prayer of humble assess, reverently. We do not presume to come to your table. Merciful Lord, trust in our righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercy. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table. But you are the same Lord, whose nature is worthy to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ which he gave you, and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink, in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your heart, by faith with thanksgiving.
let us be self-control, putting on faith and love as a breastplate, and the hope of salvation as our helmet. As our Savior taught us, the Lord be with you. Let us pray. As our Savior taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The prayer and Peter the fall together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and walk to your praise and glory. Amen. <laughs> Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, direct and sanctify and govern our hearts and bodies in the ways of your laws and the works of your commandments, that under your protections, now and ever, we may be preserved in body and soul through Jesus Christ our Lord. And so, Father, we thank you for the opportunity which you are giving to us even to come to your sanctuary. We commit this uh, week unto your able care, Father. As we are going through this week, your presence will go with us in the name of Jesus Christ. In everything that we are going to do this week, Lord, you will manifest yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power or spirit that can stand against your word or against your eye in our lives, by the reason of your word, we cast them out of our journey in the name of Jesus Christ. You will prosper us. You will manifest yourself in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. And of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty. The Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Can we please rise? Mark chapter 16, verse 15. To answer to unto them, Go ye into the world and pray the gospel to every We will proclaim, you will proclaim, together we will proclaim, may the blessing of the Lord be upon you.